Hello and welcome to Mixing It Up. I am so glad that you have stopped by today. Today we are going to be talking about how to fit text to a shape. So I have some text here ready to go. All we need to do is select the text, which you can tell I have it selected because you can see my gray boxes here outlining it. And then it's good to remember that the size of your text box will actually be the size that your um, text will fit to. So your text is selected. You'll come down to text to shape and you can do circles or squares. And then if you notice along here at the bottom, there's also a regular text. So if you want to return to your regular paragraph text, just select that. So we'll go ahead and go and click on outside circle. So you can see that fit the text box just like we had talked about. And then if I wanted to make it bigger, I can go ahead and stretch. If I just want to have a very subtle um, arch, you can see I just stretching it further, makes it sub more subtle. And then I can also rotate my text. So if I want to um, create some different effects, I can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and undo that rotate. Okay, if you wanted to have your text to be a little more centered, the easiest way I have found to do that is to go ahead and click on Edit Text. This is especially true when it's an oval. If it's a circle, you can rotate it and it works fine. So I just added a few spaces. It looks like I maybe added too many, so I just go and delete those two spaces. But that is one way then that you could center your text in your oval. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take delete those spaces out. And I want you to see you can also change fonts. So I can come here and change my size of my font. And that by, might be another way then that you can be have it centered. And you can also change your font. Um, let's see. This is um, a font I've used throughout our tutorial. So a little pot. You can just see how that works. I can change the size. Now I can also change the color. Just select your match color. And I can click on my picker and maybe find something on another page. So we'll go for this red. So you can see how easy that is. Now, as we showed, as I'd shown you, you can also do the squares and the same tools or techniques apply. So if you wanted to have a cute little corner with some text going around, you can just like that. So you can see it's a lot of fun to be able to put your text in a shape. I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things that we have done. Here is another text box that I have already prepared for us. And I come down here, text to shape. I'm going to do the outside square. And I'm going to use the, a little pot font. And now I'm just going to stretch my box. and change my font size to maybe 11. Now, if it stays red, you will know that you have text that is not showing. So this is a fun way to include journaling on your page. It's not quite as easy to read as a paragraph, but it's a fun little design element that you can do as well. So you can then work to make sure your font size is appropriate or the text, change your text so to make sure everything fits. So here's a couple of layouts I've done using these techniques. Mm -hmm. It seems like there are so many of us having colds and things right now, so I thought it was very appropriate to do a sick page. So here we are with the text journaling going around the outside edge. So this is a really cute page. It's Albums to Remembers um, design kit. And I'm going to show you in just a few minutes what that kit is. And here is that page, but without the red um, text box showing up, so you can get a better feel for how that looks. So you can see it's a fun way to add your text. And then I have added a new feature here. These are the kits that I have used. These are by Albums to Remember. And this one is I'm Sick, but you can just look at so many cute embellishments. And the backgrounds are really nice. And then Medical Doctor. There are so many things here. Broken legs and broken arms. and tests, hospital stays, 
anyway, just two really cute kids. The font used was a little pot, and you can find it at defont.com. In that example, I showed you how you could use it as journaling. This one, I used the font, same thing, a little font, I'm sorry, a little pot. I've used little X's and dashes to kind of simulate stitching to go along with the stitching already in the kit and the embellishments. These embellishments, this kit is the cutest kit. It's Tropical Cruises by um, Albums to Remember as well. So you can see just adding a different font, using the dashes and the X's kind of gives a stitched effect. And then on the next page, I still have the dashes and X, but I added a little circle and I rotated it so it would fit in this spot. And it's, we had so much fun, we can hardly wait to go again. So just a cute way to add some um, additional journaling to your page. This is such a cute kit. It's great for any cruise or vacation that you've gone or just great summer days. So again, the font used was a little pot, but then I also used the dandelion soup font and that's the one that was in the circle that around went around the photo. Right here, we had so much fun. This is Dandelion Soup. That's a really cute font. Okay, this kit um, is by Krista Celine. And that's actually a combination of a couple of different kits, which I will show you in just a minute. But you can see I've done font to a shape, or text to a shape. And that's what these little dots are. So just using a period, but I've done the same thing just to create a little border here. And on this next one, you can see the dots a little bit more out here. But then I also used the um, circle or more oval shape to add this adorable U on this arrow, this embellishment. This is just as arrow embellishment. And then I added the text. And you can see if I change the um, text box, it changes the shape of my text. So it's such a great way to be able to personalize embellishments or to make titles. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to fit text to a shape and happy mixing. Thanks for stopping by. Can't wait to see you next week.